Problem six reads, a ball at the end of a one meter long string swings about a vertical pole making an angle of 35 degrees with the pole. If the ball travels in a horizontal circle at constant speed, A, what is this speed, and B, what is the tension in the string if the mass is one kilogram? Let's look at the motion of that. A ball swinging around a pole like that is known as a conical pendulum. The string, one meter long, we're told, makes an angle of 35 degrees with respect to the pole, swings in a horizontal circle, and the mass is one kilogram. Question is, what is the speed of that ball, and also what is the tension in the string? All right, take a crack at that problem before watching its solution. Here is a diagram of our pendulum where I've placed the mass at the origin of an XY coordinate system and have included that the angle between the string and the X axis is 55 degrees, that it's just 90 degrees minus 35 degrees. The first thing we can do in this problem is to find the radius of the circle that the ball moves in from the geometry of the problem. The string is one meter long. The angle between the string and the vertical is 35 degrees. So the radius of the circle that it moves in is one meter times the sine of 35 degrees, which is 0.574 meters. The next thing we can do is to draw all of the forces that are acting on our mass. We have acting downwards the weight mg and then the tension in the string acting along the string. Let's call that tension T. This can be broken down into X and Y components, the X component being T cosine of 55 degrees, the Y component of the tension being T times the sine of 55 degrees. The X component of the tension, T cosine 55 degrees, provides the centripetal force necessary to move the mass in this horizontal circle. In the first part of the problem in part A, we are asked to find the speed with which the ball goes around in this circle. So let us write Newton's second law in the x and y directions. First of all, writing it in the y direction, the sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to upwards, t sine 55 degrees downwards, minus mg. They are all the forces in the y direction. There is no acceleration in the y direction, so they add up to zero. Doing the same in the x direction. The sum of the forces in the x direction. We have in the x direction to the right, t cosine 55 degrees. That is the only force acting in the x direction, so it must be equal to the mass times the acceleration in the x direction. The acceleration in the x direction is the centripetal acceleration, so we can write it as v squared divided by r. Now, looking for v in this equation, we have the unknown t. But we can solve for t from our first equation, writing that t is equal to mg divided by the sine of 55 degrees. And then take that expression for t and substitute it into our second equation to eliminate t. If we do that, we can then write t, which is now mg over the sine of 55 degrees 
multiplied by the cosine of 55 degrees is equal to m v squared divided by r. Now there's an m on both sides of this equation that can be canceled and if I solve for v squared I then have v squared is equal to g times r times the cosine of 55 degrees divided by the sine of 55 degrees. Plugging in values here for g, 9.8 meters per second per second. The r was 0.574 meters. The cosine of 55 degrees is 0.574, and the sine of 55 degrees is 0.819. And if you work that out on your calculator, you can confirm that what you get for this is 3.94 meters squared per second squared, and that's v squared. v, of course, is the square root of that, and if you take the square root of that to three significant figures, you can write that that is 1.99 meters per second. So 1.99 meters per second, then, is the speed of this ball in this horizontal circle. In part B, we're asked to find what is the tension in the string. Now, in this expression here, we had solved for the tension. It's equal to mg divided by the sine of 55 degrees. So let's use that then to simply calculate what the tension is. Getting some room and writing that over again, T then is equal to mg divided by the sine of 55 degrees. That's equal to m was 1 kilogram. g is our familiar 9.8 meters per second per second. We divide that by the sine of 55 degrees, which is 0.819. And if you work that out, you should find to three significant figures that the tension in the string then is 12 newtons. All right, that is the solution to our problem. Let us move on now to our seventh and last problem.